what Polish foods are your favorite? Well, like all food, to be good has to be fresh. And uh, uh, Poland's uh, speciality are things that, uh, that are special to Poland. Mushrooms, for example. We have excellent soups. Um, we have game. Uh, and Polish agriculture is less in- industrialized than, say, American agriculture. And therefore, much of our food is, um, is more authentic and more wholesome. But if you're interested in Polish food, there's an excellent Polish cookbook written by Anne Applebaum, uh, entitled From My Polish Garden, uh, which I can uh, thoroughly recommend because it was uh, written and tested in our own house in Poland. Do you, do you think that is that forms a part of a national identity? We were talking about ideology earlier, and food is such a, such a raw and real thing. Um, do you see that as reflective? Do you see that as something that actually forms a part of the identity of the nation? Absolutely. Uh, it's part of uh, one's uh, um, uh, feeling, uh, idea of oneself. And uh, uh, you like to eat what you uh, used to eat at your grandmother's table. And, and do you think there's dipl- a diplomatic element to it? Oh, uh, we... Uh, used Polish food as a strategic commodity in, uh, in our diplomacy because food is a, is a huge, uh, I think, number two export for Poland, which is also interesting intellectually when you think about it. Uh, communism collapsed in Poland partly because it couldn't feed its people. We had, we had permanent food shortages. And with the same territory, we are now yeah. exporting yeah, but food. Food shortages are political. <laughs> they're not, uh, they're not uh, natural, right? Political in the sense that these coal hoses and the right. artificial prices and so on, of course. Yeah. Um, uh, but today, um, we use it for promoting Polish agri- agriculture and for promoting Poland. Uh, you know, uh, in diplomacy, you find out that most uh, ministries and, um, and public institutions have rules on what kind of gifts you can accept. But you can almost always accept uh, food. Right. And because there's, there's a, usually a price cap, but when it's food, right. it's harder to, because right. it's raw ingredients. And so therefore, actually it's if you cheap. give someone a, a basket of, of Polish vodka and Polish cabanos and Polish uh, jams and, uh, and Polish uh, sweets, they, they love it. We and might call it gastro diplomacy. Uh, yeah. You might, but it's very effective. Well, I, th- I think there's something to breaking bread. I mean, if I just spend last point on this, I, I think. You know, they say you know when you break bread with somebody. I think there's more to just the idea of sitting down and having a meal. You know, if you were to serve me Polish food or I were to cook you a meal, there's something about that that yes. is almost primal. It's sort of like this: yes. you're taking care of the other person. Sitting down to a table and eating a meal breaks barriers between people.